Hey guys, it's Jay. So, whew, today we're going to be trying out lots of new products, some things I have never used before. I have never used uh, one of these like makeup spongy looking things. I have never used concealer before. Um, I think I may have used gel eyeliner once a long time ago when I was like 15 maybe. So lots of new things. <laughs> a little bit intimidating to be doing this on camera. I've never done my makeup on camera before. We're going to try it out. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. All right. I'm going to stop being nervous. I'm not going to stop being nervous. I'm going to be nervous. But we're just going to have fun. We're going to relax. We're going to have fun. Okay. First, we're going to start with a primer. I am going to use Pharmacy's, um, strobe primer it's the purple one they have a silver one I had it here somewhere yeah I have my like my little makeup case over here my little mirror it's a little mirror so if I lean over here hopefully you can still see me um, they also have this one um, this is their camera ready photo filter technology one but my skin is so flipping dry like oh my goodness so I have a lot of red I have a lot of discoloration and that uh, and texture and my skin is very very dry um i washed my face today with my shower um using pharmacy's calendula face wash and i use their calendula moisturizer it's been really calming actually it's helped a lot with my red i can get a lot redder than this um and i exfoliated today too and that would usually really kind of irritate things but it's a lot better it's actually not that bad right now okay so I haven't tried this yet. I literally just had to like peel the little thing off. We really are trying all of this together. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this guys. I don't know how to do this. Alright. We're just gonna we're just gonna put some on here. I don't know. I don't know how much I need. We're just gonna go with it. Alright. Okay, we're gonna just kinda Ooh, that's shiny. <laughs> okay. So this one is supposed to be um for drier skin. It's supposed to be more moisturizing, um, illuminating. The other primer is more matte. And that is not a bad thing. Matte is good sometimes. Um, but for my everyday stuff, I think I will use this one more because I need the moisture. Um, I just, I'm dry. I have dry skin. It's a thing. All right. Okay. Moisturizing. It's a very, very faint, very faint smell. Almost a little bit sweet floral, but not... Not one of those like cloyingly sweet smells. So I like it. It's a good smell. All right, we're gonna just let that kind of sit there for a moment. Put the lid back on, that'd be good, right? All right, so primer, all done. Okay, so we did primer. Now we are going to, while, while we're waiting for that to kind of sit for a minute, I don't think you have to let it sit. I just feel like I want to let it sit for a minute. This is the eyeshadow primer. I have not used a cream eyeshadow primer like this before. Usually I use, where is it? It's here, guys. I'll find it, maybe. New makeup case. All right. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Usually I use the little e.l.f. primer, and it works okay. I don't really have any issues with it, but I wanted to try this one. Because the e.l.f. one really doesn't look like anything once you get it on. And I've heard like this one's good if you want to actually like cover up like if you have veining or you're going for a really bold eye and you want kind of like a blank canvas so to speak because you know people have color in their eyelids. Um, so this, this just kind of like mats it all out. But it could also be used if you wanted to just have it as a shadow or like you don't want to put a shadow. So we're going to just see how this looks. It's definitely thicker than... Um, the e.l.f., which is not bad, really. And there we go. Goes on pretty easy. I don't think I'd use a brush to apply it. I think that that would be a problem. I just don't see a brush being able to do this. I feel like it needs your finger warmth and your eyelid warmth to kind of blend in well. Okay, I don't know. Can you see the difference? My camera's going to focus for us. I hope it behaves itself today. <laughs> the lighting's not amazing, but here we go. All right, can you guys see that? There is a difference. I can see it. It just kind of mats it out, makes the eyelid nice and even. It's good. It's good. All right, we'll do the other one because, you know, we're not doing just half a face today. That would be weird. That wouldn't be weird. That would be interesting. I should do that sometimes. Do, like, just half half my face so you guys can see the difference. 
or we could do like half glam, half like every day. Every day I don't wear makeup. <laughs> Uh, I started wearing it more though just because, um, I don't know, I, I used to have a very unhealthy relationship with makeup. I started wearing makeup, a lot of makeup when I was like 11. I would wear like eyeshadow and eyebrow stuff because you know, I have like practically no eyebrows. So I would wear all that stuff and it... Um, it got to the point where I thought I was really ugly if I wasn't wearing makeup and even when I would put on makeup I would never be satisfied with how I looked. I always felt like I just didn't look as good as I wanted to. Um, you know, I'd always, oh I have this issue and that issue and blah 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 blah. Like that's so unhealthy. That's such an unhealthy relationship with makeup. And like I wouldn't, I started when I got a little bit more into my teens, I would not go out if I wasn't wearing makeup. I'd sleep in my makeup in case I had to get up and go somewhere early in the morning for some weird emergency or whatever, or like I'd have seminary. So I'd wake up like super early. Uh, seminary is an early morning church class. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, we're talking it's it's like it's like early. Like you're leaving the house before the sun is up. Um but I would, um, I wouldn't do, or I would wake up early to do my makeup or I'd sleep in it if I, if I was going to bed late and didn't want to wake up that early. Um, I would skip up, I would skip going and doing stuff with my friends because I was so self-conscious. The only thing I did was our annual girls camp. Our church has something. I'm doing the CC cream and light now. Our church has girls camp that it does annually. You really don't need very much. It's probably more than I need actually. Um... And I wouldn't wear makeup to that because I think I actually tried to my first year. And you're just, you're hot, you're sweaty, you're outside, doesn't work out. So, like, that's the only event that I would do that I wasn't wearing it. All right, I don't know which end of this to use. This one? This one? Maybe you can just, like, rotate around. I don't even know. All right. But, so, a few years ago, I got pregnant. Wow. I usually just apply this with my fingers. I got pregnant... And uh, with my fourth, and I get really sick when I'm pregnant, like super duper sick. And um, see, it just takes all the red out. And with getting really, really sick like that, I stopped wearing makeup so much. I just didn't have it in me for the first, you know, half of my pregnancy to put on makeup. I just couldn't do it. It was exhausting. I could barely like function. So I stopped wearing it as much and then I ended up, okay, that's actually good coverage. I ended up, we moved when he was about a year old and when we moved I had a really good friend who never wore makeup and she just kind of, I don't know, she just kind of gave me kind of some courage I guess and then I stopped wearing makeup when I stopped wearing makeup and I just had my face I realized I didn't hate my face. I didn't feel like I was ugly and my husband has always been like, "You look great. Like, I think you're I think you're adorable. Like, I don't care if you have makeup on or not." So, going through that phase was really good. The sponge actually eats some of the makeup, so I feel like I need it a little bit more. But anyway. So, I didn't wear makeup hardly ever. We're talking like, I don't know, a couple times a year maybe for a few for a year, year and a half. And then and then I um, started wearing it again more because I started to, um, I don't know, just kind of come out of the mom, tired mom of like, you know, four little, little kids and feel like I really just wanted to kind of, feel like I was taking care of myself a little bit better <laughs> and just not look so worn out and tired and feel so worn out and tired all the time. Okay, I like this bunch actually. This is wonderful. And I did dampen this. I've heard you're supposed to, so I did. But um, I came out of that a little bit, and I really just wanted to be able to feel a little bit more put together. Um, when I'm not wearing makeup, I tend to not wear some of my prettier jewelry that I like to play with sometimes, or some of my, not fancy clothes, but you know, brighter, louder, busier, whatever. Um, don't forget your chin, Lynn. Um, because I just, I just felt weird. I felt like I was like half dressed if I did that. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So I started wearing it again a little bit more, but my whole attitude with makeup has totally changed. Okay. That's good. Like, I have forehead wrinkles. Like, anybody else struggle with the forehead wrinkles? Okay. That did an awesome job. Oh my goodness. I like it. So, 
So my relationship with makeup changed and I now, I don't wear it because I feel like I have to, I don't wear it because I feel like I need to, um, it's more, I look at it like an artistic medium, I'm kind of a crafty, artsy person and so if I feel like I want to wear like big statement earrings and I want to wear a floral dress or something like that, or I want to do my hair a certain way, then I'll put on makeup, it just kind of completes the look for me, I just prefer it, so that is my relationship with makeup now. It's fun, it's just for playing with, with your face, just to kind of change up your look. I don't look at any any of my features that and say, oh, that's a problem, or I don't like that anymore. Like, my forehead wrinkles I struggle with a little bit. I do, I do, but I'm kind of like, you know, I got them, it's aging, it's fine. All right, um, hopefully you guys can see that, let me see. And yes, I look pale because I'm very pale, see the pale? This, this 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 is my leftover tan. I don't know if you can see it. Actually, I have a tan line. Yeah, that's my version of a tan. I got a tan. So, okay, it is. This is not um, what I would call full coverage. It is a color correcting seam. That is what a CC cream does. I really like it though because that's where it still goes with the red. So you can totally see some of the pink still. You can see that I have some freckles and some things going on. I like that. I don't love, um, you know, kind of like more of a heavy, like no color anymore and add everything back in look. That's not my favorite. Um, maybe special occasions. But that tutorial is for another day. Today we're just doing kind of my basic makeup. So I'm okay with something showing. It really doesn't bother me. I prefer it this way. But what this does is it calms down the red. It kind of makes everything look a little bit more cohesive, a little bit less... Whew. So I like it. There we go. Look at that. It blended it all so nice. Okay. This is, this is, I like this now. All right. So moving on. We did our CC cream. We did our primer. We have our eye primer on. What do we usually do next? Got to think about this for a minute. Oh, eyes. Right. We're going to work on eyes. So I always curl my eyelashes. I know not everybody does, and some people just have their eyelashes that come out and they just curl up and it's like this beautiful sweeping thing. Mine aren't like that. <laughs> they used to do that when I was younger, and now I don't know if it's just hormones from having children, but they don't do that. They kind of just, for the most part, just kind of like go, go straight. And when you're putting on mascara, you kind of want that look. And so I curl mine. Okay. That's probably curled enough. We're just going to roll with it. Oh, I was going to mention, with the primer, you see I have like a pretty like peachy pinky thing going on. If you don't want that all the way up, you don't have to. You can just put it down here, and then you just have it down there. It's totally fine. I just put it all over. Just because. Okay, eyelashes are curled. Who? what are we going to do? We're going to do, we are going to do eyeshadow. Okay, so I have this really pretty eyeshadow trio from pharmacy this is their vintage season one and I wanted it so bad it's so pretty so it has a lighter kind of a it's like a tan I guess and then kind of a mid brown and then this really beautiful pink red mauve it's not mauve it's beautiful though so I'm gonna find my brushes I don't actually know what eye look we're doing today we're just gonna kind of roll with it let's see we're just gonna we're just gonna play with it because I haven't used this yet. I had to take the little like paper thing, the little you know the plasticky thing, off of it. Okay, we're just gonna put some on here. Honestly though, the primer on because I'm so pale actually adds quite a bit of color to my eyelids, so I actually don't have to do as much. That's cool. Because who doesn't want a shortcut hack? Okay, so I have, they're not exactly hooded, but they kind of are hooded eyes. So if you look, my eyelids, my upper lid, it comes and sits on my lower lid, closing off part of it, and my eyes are not even close to being the same. <laughs> so when you have that, you can't do your makeup just any old way. So instead of putting stuff like down in the crease there, which would just kind of, it would, it would disappear, you have to put your your crease color higher up you've got to put it like right on this lower part of your brow bone like right there because if you don't you can't see it isn't that amazing and blending blending is so important I don't think I used to blend enough and even now like I'll look and people will have tried like they have obviously you can tell they've spent a ton of time on their makeup right and unless you're specifically going for like a dramatic like a cut crease you wouldn't blend a cut crease right but if you're putting it up here on your upper 
on your upper lid section, you, you should blend it. And I say this from experience. I've looked back at pictures and been like, oh, ooh, <laughs> blend. And I didn't. So, all right, now we're going to just play with this. I usually kind of don't necessarily have like a full idea of how I'm going to do things, and I don't want to go too heavy, so I don't know how dark this is. That's not bad. Look at that. That's not bad at all. Okay. So we're going to just like bring it up here and in here, corner it out a little bit, but again, I'm not putting it down here. I'm putting it up here because, yeah. There we go. And I am not an expert in makeup, as you can tell. I just have, you know, played with it for a long time. I have not ever tried to do like that perfect photoshopped, you know, what's kind of all the rage on social media right now. You know, that look. Yeah, I don't do that look, partly because it just, I don't know, I think it looks weird on me. And uh, I think makeup should be used to enhance your features. Um, yeah. It's an opinion. You do your makeup how you want. And that's the thing. Makeup is so personal. I feel like everybody just needs to be like, I like doing it this way. And then they need to do it that way and just be happy. So this may seem dark, but once I put on some eyebrows and add a little bronzer, it's not so bad. All right. I like it so far. That's about how I usually do it. I like that brown though. Kind of that, yeah, like that warm, basic matte brown. All right. Are we going to add some color? Are we going to add some color? We can do this. Okay. This, this pinky one. All right. I'm just going to put it out here a little bit just to warm up my eyelid. There we go. Okay, what do you think? Hmm? Better? Better? You tell? Who knows? Okay. We're just going to... That's nice. I like this palette. I feel like this is a really good, like, everyday neutral palette. But I feel like you could totally pump it up if you wanted to, like, make your eye a little smokier or something. Okay. This is like the worst makeup tutorial ever. <laughs> but you're still here, right? Okay, we're gonna get through this. So, we are going to do, that's the primer. We're gonna move that over there. I should've moved it before, and I didn't. We are gonna do our eyeliner. Okay, we're gonna do this. Move this over so you can see, kinda, yeah. No. Alright, so we're going to just kind of like dip this in there. Hope we don't get too much. We're going to wipe a little off on our hand to see how much we actually got. That's more than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Ready? Lash line? Okay. Stop blinking, Jay. Alright. Trying to talk and do this at the same time is actually difficult. Okay, so got on. That's not bad. Oh, we're gonna do like a, we're gonna be brave and do like a tiny wing. Hopefully it's tiny. Usually my wings are supposed to be tiny, and then they always end up being bigger because I mess them up and I have to fix them. We did it! <laughs> ah, we did it. We did it, guys. Okay, let's see if we can do the other side to match. Because again, eyes not the same. Alright, um. Mm hmm. Okay. Alrighty, we can. Ooh. See, I just messed it up. Okay. That'll be fine. We're gonna fix this. It's gonna look a little different. That's all. I'm just gonna. See, this is what I mean. I mess up one wing and then I have to go fiddle with the other, even if the other one's perfect. <sighs> okay, so we're just gonna go back and we're just gonna like. Hmm. Add some more. Since this is already getting pretty long, we'll see what I can edit out. We'll see if I can like make it a little shorter for you guys. Okay, so, um, not perfect, <laughs> but. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna be happy with it. That's not bad, right? On camera, we'll focus. There we go. Kind of. Alright. So, we're just gonna go with it. Okay. We got that done. I feel like. I feel like it's okay. It's going okay, guys. Yes. Okay. We're gonna do mascara. Now, mascara is intimidating. 
um, to me because as I said like my eyelashes aren't necessarily super short but they are kind of thin and don't like to behave and so I used to use three different mascaras in fact I'll show you three mascaras I was using okay so I would use the Maybelline waterproof great lash after I curled and then I would use um, this Rimmel Lash Accelerator for more length and then I would use this waterproof voluminous one after that. <sighs> it took forever to do my lashes guys. <laughs> forever! So when I tried the pharmacy one, the pharmacy 3D effect, I really liked it. It takes me a little bit to apply it. Um, I feel like mascara applications such a, such a personal thing but so I really like it I feel like it works well you can build it which I know everybody's like you can totally build this mascara and then I would buy it and be like you can't build crap dude like that mm -mm, that clumps so quick and it flakes and I'd be so irritated <laughs> you know it's frustrating especially like if you're trying to get ready to go somewhere and you're trying new products and you try a new mascara and you're like, that just ruined my entire eye look, thank you. So, when I tried this, I was actually pretty happy with it. I don't have to wear three mascaras. I can just wear one. Hallelujah. And, as you can see, it does take me a while to get my mascara done. So maybe I will just get it done and then I will come back because this does take a while. Is after I get some on, I have to brush it a little bit because as I said, my eyelashes are thin, obnoxious little things and they really like to misbehave. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get my mascara done. You can see it's already going on and then I will be right back. <laughs> okay. Lashes done. I need to clean my little brush thing. Okay. So those are done. I did a little bit on the bottom. I don't do a ton, but I definitely do put some down there. I know some people are like, don't put mascara on your bottom lashes. And if yours tend to smudge really bad down there or something, no matter what you do, then don't. My lashes are so light. If I don't, it looks strange. And I used to not do it because I felt like it helped up here look a little more dramatic. But now I add a little bit. I feel like it balances it out. Kind of gives my eye a softer look. So I really like adding it. Brows. Brows. Okay, I have struggled with my brows for a long time. I don't even know I'm brushing. There's no hair there. Who am I kidding? So I do have some hair. It thins out incredibly thin through here. Very, very light, practically translucent. And if you can tell, this brow is darker than this one right in here, which is super fun. So what I used to use is this little bitty Clinique pencil and, excuse me, and this Wunder Brow in blonde. Tricky application. This is a very dry little pencil, which is not bad. It's helpful if you want to like do like little hairs and stuff, but it takes me forever. And I've used this for a really long time. They're not cheap. They're like twenty or twenty-five dollars. But um, <gasps> and then this, I actually, I usually just I do the pencil first, and then I put that on, and then I like spoolie brush that out because um, otherwise it looks scary. So this is new. I'm still figuring out how to use it. It is a bigger pencil and it's softer. The consistency is a little bit more waxy, but it goes on way quicker, <laughs> way quicker. So, and it kind of does the job of both of those. It adds color, it adds, um, you know, some definition, but it also does what this did and kind of thickens them by coating them a little bit more, if that makes sense. So I'm liking it. And I do not use a brow stencil. I do not use, um, light hand I do not use you know I don't know like you, you know like you see the eyebrows are like whoosh, it's like the Kardashian eyebrow or something everybody's trying to do that and I feel like I don't know it's like in the 90s when everybody tweezed their eyebrows within an inch of their lives and they were like little teeny. yeah I just I try to just basically fill in what I've got kind of follow that general line and then um, try to make the fronts match a little bit better. Eyebrows should be sisters, not twins. I don't know who started that saying, but you hear it everywhere. So, 
after I do the other eyebrow, I'll see what I need to do to the front section. As I said, I'm not really concerned with pretending I have like this big full eyebrow. <laughs> I just want an eyebrow. So, I mean, but, mm -hmm, it's practically done. That was quick. Usually it takes me a good 10 minutes. I'm not even kidding you to do my eyebrows. Maybe even more than 10 minutes. I mean, it's insane. But it's just... I don't know. That's just how long it usually takes me. Because I... I try to be careful and make sure that I am getting it on the brow hair as much as possible because you know you don't want to just look like you drew a pencil line on your yeah okay so the only tricky part here is just trying to make the fronts match a little bit better one eyebrow is definitely higher than the other and so we're just gonna try to make them match you can see though I mean that's quick that is so quick when and, and those of you with better brows probably don't have to go through this. But if you are with me, you have really thin brows that just don't want to be there. You know, it's like they just tried to escape at some point and the straggler lazy ones were left behind. If that's kind of how your brows go, then you got me there. Oh, oh, and that's another thing. A lot of times blonde pencils on me go orange, like very orange. This one stays like a nice taupey... Look at that! I have eyebrows! Let's see if the camera's gonna focus. Okay, see? Look how quick that was. And they're there. I've got them. That was so fast. Okay, so here's a tip for eyebrows. And I used to not do this when I was younger. I would like bring my line down. If when you get to the end, you go not up, but out just a little bit. So go to the end. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> But you go to the end and you just go ever so slightly out. Okay? So nothing crazy. Taper it out. But, but I'm not explaining this well. But if instead of going down, you go out. Just the tiniest hint. I hope you can see what I'm talking about. If you do that, it gives your eye this little lift right here, which is where all of our eyes pull down anyway. Um, it gives you this little bitty lift right there, which... Who doesn't want that? So, gonna tiny little bit. You just angle it, and as I said, you don't want to look like your eyebrows are like winging it on the end or taking off or anything. Like it is the most subtle, 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 subtle. Like just a little tiny bit. But if you do that, your brows. Like, you give yourself, like, this little bitty lift at the end of your eye, which is so nice. It is so nice. Okay. We're coming together here. Not much more to do. Coming up on the scary part, actually. <laughs> okay. Do you do the bronzer before or after you do the... Do you do bronzer before or after concealer? I don't know. Should we do concealer first? Concealer is what I'm scared about. I oh, I should open it. I have literally never bought concealer. I have never used concealer. I thought about it a few times, and so it's been so intimidating. I don't get really dark under eyes, and I don't mind if you know they don't look, whatever. But I've noticed I've been getting a little bit more discoloration under them. Um, I don't sleep great and I work on my hydration like it's a constant battle to keep myself hydrated um, so I'm sure that's contributing but also I mean I'm not people can be so sensitive about their ages I'm 33 so I'm not you know I'm not super young and in my 20s but I just um, okay what do people do with this like I see some people put on a lot that's just you know, is, the, is the triangle still a thing oh my goodness this is nerve-wracking. <gasps> okay, I can do this. Uh, triangles have to match because, whoa, they don't. Um, anyway, I just noticed, like, if I'm going to do my makeup, if, if I can figure it out, it might be fun. Look at that. That right there. That's perfect. Okay, now, we're going to blend. We're going to blend. Hopefully. You got to help me out here, Blendy. Okay. I've watched a lot of people do this. Doing yourself is scary. All right, I can do this. Blend. We all blend. Okay, blend. I have to redo my uh, under eye mascara. We're blending. We're blending. I need a smaller blender. Oh my goodness. How do people do this? 
Okay. Right? Did we do it? Did I? Hmm? Does it look different? I put on way less than other people put. Okay, let's be like judicious here. Judicious, is that the word? Like, we can do this. Okay, I see people putting it over there. No, like seriously, I see people like, whoa. And I've been told like, get the lighter shade. And I got the lightest shade, but I'm so freaking pale. <laughs> like, that is my shade. Um, but I see a lot of people with darker skin tones get lighter shades because they say that it brightens your under eye. So I don't know, does my under eye look brightened, girls? Or guys, I don't know who's watching this. Does it look brightened? So this video is going to be so long. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, it's on. I think it's on. Blending was trickier there. We should do this side now, right? <laughs> Okay, so if you use concealer, how do you apply it? Do you do you like using concealer? I feel like I just can't get the very corner no matter how I hold my eye. So maybe maybe I need to get like a little teeny tiny blender for that part. Okay. <laughs> We are going to do some translucent setting powder because I've heard you need to do that if you're putting on concealer. Brush. We're just going to kind of pat that on under the eye because I've heard you want to pat that on and kind of set things. I don't want to go too crazy because, you know, I have dry skin and powder makes me nervous. Okay, we're just going to roll with it. Just put it everywhere. Okay. We're getting through this, guys. We're getting through this. A little spongy back. Does anybody actually use these little sponges that come with the powders? Okay, we have set the under eye area. It is. Oh, that's soft. <laughs> set. We did it. We did it. I don't know if I did it right, but we did it. Concealer. First time ever. All right, moving right along. Bronzer. So I've used the same bronzer for since I got married. Yes, that'll be 15 years this year. This is intimidating. This is not the same color. We're going to try it out, though. We're going to try it. I have water. I don't know I'm drinking water. I talk too fast. There we go. All right. I'm going to use this brush. Aren't these cute brushes? I got them from um, Amazon. I looked for hours. I looked through every single page of brushes that they had, and then I pulled all my favorites into, like, a a favorite like a like a wish list and then <laughs> I know I do this with everything when I buy it I like pull every option and then I kind of weed it down to the last one and I settled on these ones because I liked the green okay we're just gonna okay that actually has a lot of pigment and we are gonna blend that out because that has a lot of pigment you never know that's good though I mean it's gonna last a long time like my other one <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't go that long before changing them. So I think we're just going to like use a little bit of the extra. We're just going to like, because I don't usually like contour past just, you know, a little bit of bronzer. Um, I've thought about it. I thought it'd be fun to try it. Don't you think it'd be fun to try contouring? Maybe not. It could be fun. All right. So this is definitely different than my other bronzer. It goes on differently. Um... It's more pigmented, you can see, more pigmented. That's fine. We are gonna blend the schnikers out of this thing. And my cheekbones aren't even the same. Like this side gets a nice like cheekbone and then this one just argues with me. No matter where I put this stuff, it does. It just, it's like, no. So, blend. Blend some more. Maybe, maybe use our little spongy. I know some people really like heavy bronzer, but I am a pale little person. Let's see how that's looking. I'm pale, and so I can't, I can't do that. I will look clown-esque. Okay, so that's not bad, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. Mhm. Mm just gonna do that. So there we go. That's not bad. All right. So I don't typically do blush because, again, I'm so pink, and I mean, you can still see it. Almost looks like I've got a little bit of something on there. That, that's my secret to my natural blushy glow is keratosis polaris. You're welcome. So, I think, I think we're blended. We're blended, look at that, we're blended. There we go, we're blended, okay. Okay, I am going to grab 
Which one should we do? I have two. I forgot to grab my little samples because I was actually going to try out my little samples. Maybe we'll do that. I'm going to be right back. And I'm back. All right, so when you sign up with pharmacy, again, sorry about the squeaky stool. When you sign up with pharmacy and you get your starter kit, you get this super cute little thing off all these little lipsticks. They're adorable. I don't know. When you were kids, did you like play with your mom's makeup and sometimes she had these tiny little sample lipsticks and they were like the best things ever? Yeah. Yes. Happy memory from my childhood. If I can get them open. All right, so what lipstick should we do? I don't even know. Okay, so there's the matte lipsticks. There's intense color. Um, what are you? You look pretty. Pink? Too pink? I don't know. What are you? Lotus. Lotus? Mm. Should go something a little bit brighter? I don't even know, guys. I feel like I should have figured this out beforehand. Posh Plum. That sounds, Posh Plum sounds pretty. What are you? <gasps> dusty Rose. Let's do Dusty Rose. That sounds like a pretty color. Okay. If I can get this open. There we go. We're going to do Dusty Rose. New Dita lipstick. All right, so. Um... I am going to actually moisturize a tiny bit first. I can't remember if I put chapstick on earlier. As I said, my skin is dry. So anyway, pharmacy. They have great products. I absolutely love their products. They're so fun. Um, but here's the kicker. You can get all of your products for 50% off. And they're already really reasonably priced. But for 50% off, um, and... It's, if you sign up for the starter kit, the starter kit is $19.99 plus tax and shipping. You get your starter kit. It's got samples in it. It's got magazines. You get all these cute little lipsticks. And then after that, boom, you get 50% off all of your products. So you get 50% off all of your products. And the only thing that you have to do is make sure you place an order every six months to keep getting that 50% off. And if you happen to decide you want to sell it, you get 50% commission off of all of your sales. So it is awesome. Their products are amazing. I should stop trying to talk while I'm putting on lip stuff. <laughs> but they are. Their products are awesome. I love them. They are great quality. And I don't feel like I am going to have to sell my firstborn to get them. Okay, this is going on really nicely. Very faint smell. Nothing annoying. I like it. That's pretty. I think I'm going to have to order like a full size one of these things. Dusty Rose. So this is the intense color Dusty Rose. I like it. Look, that's like such a pretty... Such a pretty pink. Oh, oh, I like it. Okay, so, isn't that pretty? I should stop smelling so you can see it. I'm a dork. Okay, so, I like that. That's going to my makeup case. Okay, I think we're done. I, as I said, I don't do blush. Um, I just don't. My hair is still a little bit damp, so I'm hesitant to take it out. So this is really cute. If you want, just a little bit like wave to your hair if you take it and you know how you like French braid you like you do your first little braid section and then you like pull and add okay so with this this twist what you do is you get your first little section and you split it in two and then you twist them and then you grab another section from under here and you're gonna keep grabbing sections from under here and twisting until you get back here and then you have just like your last two you twist them and then you twist them around each other and then you either sleep in it or you put it in when it's just barely damp and you let it dry this side's damper than that side. But if you do that, you get some cute waves. And I've seen some people do it where they split it down the middle and they do it, and then they flip a side over so that they have more volume. But when I did that, I have like a bajillion -y little baby hairs that like to stick up. In fact, they're still sticking up a little bit. <laughs> it, it was... So this, we're, we're trying this. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out so you guys can see. My camera battery is blinking. Let's see what we can do. See what we can do here. See if we got much... Oh, got some. We got some wave. That's cute, right? And then if you want to go in and you want to like tease and comb and all those things, get more volume, flip it upside down, that kind of thing. Okay, so normally it would be a lot wavier and curlier than this, but as I said, it's a little bit damp. That's okay. 
I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so that's it. That is my makeup. We tried all kinds of new things. It was fun. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them for you. I will, if you are watching this on YouTube, I will link all of the products in the description box below so you can go check them out if you want to. Feel free to comment and ask me a question. I will also link my Facebook group um, where I post stuff in there, pictures, etc. and my Instagram. And if you're watching this in my Facebook group, feel free to comment if you want to get color matched, if you need any help. I'm here. I'm here to help you. You guys are having a great week. You're finding ways to entertain yourselves safely with everything that is going on. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.